till the flying insect population has decreased 60 since the year 2000. Live in Rome in West USA. Before corn tassels, the fields of alfalfa and soybeans are plenty with fireflies and it's a beautiful sight to behold. Once airplanes begin to dust crops with fungicide and insecticide, they cease to exist. I refuse to use certain kinds of pesticides for this reason. Hell my security light doesn't attract bugs like they used to 20 years ago. Shit's bad. Now I'm one of those people living in the country that plants native wildflower and prairie grass patches to encourage pollinators and bugs to return. It isn't much but every little bit will help in the long haul. This is almost entirely due to the widespread use of neonicotinoids text neonicotinoid 20 pesticides 20 were 20 first 20 introduced 20 inches 20 the 201990s 2c 20 and 20 cents, the 20 world 20 just 20 at 20 out, which began in the 1990s. It aligns almost perfectly with the loss of insect populations. Neonics persist in the environment, travel in the air and are absorbed into plant tissue miles away from where they are sprayed. They should be illegal, and if climate change doesn't cause societal collapse sometime soon, neonics definitely will. It's worse than it here in Montreal. I've lived in the same fourth floor apt for now six years, this is my seventh summer here. There's a streetlight that's just below my balcony, maybe 15 feet away, that when I first got here, attracted huge clouds of all kinds of bugs at night. So much so that if I opened my porch door for just a few seconds, I'd have all sorts of mosquitoes and other stuff flying around in my room. Now I can leave my door wide open in the evening and at night, and I might get a few skeeters but that's it. Also, much less birds now, they're still here, but there are less. We really enjoy spraying our lawns with pesticides, and herbicides. I see landscapers hosing down rocks and parking lots, so nothing grows. When your idea is capitalism and suburban sterility to are to kill everything aside from non-native grass, and ornamentals you can't be surprised when the effects of have the exact effect it's intended to, kill everything. The American lawn, and sterile corporate landscaping are a waste of resources, and harmful to the environment. Surprise, surprise. It's not like science has been screaming the city for decades. Five or six years ago I had posted in a thread about things that scare us and I posted about the dwindling insect numbers and that it terrified me. Some smart ass called me Henny Penny being scared that the sky is falling and basically I was dumb for being worried over nothing. It stuck with me up that this person was so ignorant and full of himself and that his attitude was a reflection on how fucked we are if people just refused to do one bit of research about what was going on around us. Glad that more people are seeing this now. Down in Texas, the 70s we had a smorgasbord of insects and godly kamikaze roaches. The lizard population were also very high and healthy. Now moved to Oklahoma, I see very little lizards but tons of toads, frogs, turtles. Unfortunately, the other desirable insects residual fireflies. Medium quantity of dragonflies, tons of crickets and grasshoppers. X200B. So overall, it seems like specific insects thrive in this era, while the half are very diminished. The tough species figure out how to survive and thrive. Seeing some of the more beautiful flying insects like fireflies and butterflies was a daily occurrence as a child but nowadays it feels like a spectacle. I have not seen butterflies this year, but I was impressed to go take out the trash this year and notice that there are fireflies in my yard. Dragonflies seem like a rarity too, even though on a daily basis at elementary recess we were like whoa, a dragonfly. I wish we kept the nice bugs while the flies and fruit flies screwed off though. I told my father this 12 years ago when I was finding out. He told me it was just liberal lies. These are scientists dad the scientists are liberals. This went back and forth and we talked about climate change. Same thing. He was a really smart guy, not massively right wing. He was left wing on a lot of issues. That all changed when he started watching Fox News en masse. Fox News rotted his brain. Sad. It was a slow progression. They conquered him. They used to be everywhere in South Texas. Coming from California, I'd never seen so many bugs in my life. Just driving between San Antonio and the valley would necessitate a car wash from the amount of dead bugs covering your vehicle afterwards. Fireflies used to be everywhere, too. That was in 95. Now you can make the same drive and maybe hit a bug or two and there was at least a decade where I didn't see any fireflies in Texas at all. Hey! Agrobusinesses need to have that 100 yield on agricultural production, with no shrinkages or blemishes from any insects or their larvae. So, goodbye insects. Hello looming biodiversity collapse.
Similarly, ranchers need 100 yield on herds, with no loss from predation or diseases. So goodbye wolves and other large predators and hulu antibiotic resistant bacteria in humans due to unnecessary overuse as prophylactics in livestock. Try to rewild your yard if you can do it. In some cases yes this means just stop mowing your lawn entirely. Let it grow and go crazy. Sprinkle native flower seeds about the place. You can increase the number of insects in your yard simply by ceasing to mow that utterly pointless fucking stupid lawn. It won't look prim and proper anymore but you'll sure as hell see bugs again. This part is the most worrying the decline was apparent regardless of habitat type and could not be explained by changes in weather, land use, and habitat characteristics. So everyone saying here this is because of blah 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 is wrong. They don't know what's causing it. In the original German study similar losses seem to have occurred in virgin coast of Rican rainforest. I see tons of dragonflies by our pond and they must be eating something but if you're over 30, next time you look at a street light, floodlight or other outdoor light at night notice how few of any insects are buzzing around it. 20 years ago every light was swarmed with moths and other bugs. Now, nothing. It's disconcerting to say the least. You all remember driving anywhere bugs platter on windshield and grill of cars? Like it was a legit issue and if you were not consistently cleaning, it was a bitch to get the remains off. My front end is clean and I haven't taken it into the car wash since I got it 5 years ago. We are killing this planet's ecosystems. That is a fact. I've scanned the wiki article, and the verbiage used in the article tends to refer to 60 of species being in decline, and not 60 of the whole insect population. I just want to further understand this accurately. Can someone show me where in the article it talks about the stats associated with the whole flying insect population? When I went camping in the 80s and 90s I would get eaten alive by bugs. Right or not. My olive complexion was what I was told was to blame. Don't really have that problem these days. Maybe I'm old and I'm not as attractive to insects. Or the world is dying. I would take getting bites all over again to have a healthy ecology. We have a fairly large park nearby that helps our local insect population continue. But as a young person it's another crisis that's not mentioned because it's, well, bugs. And frankly that's really scary. They're a key part of our food chain. I don't care if they're annoying or their host plants aren't ornamental enough. Two weekends ago I saw a butterfly on the golf course upstate New York and I exclaimed that I hadn't seen a butterfly in years. Other guys sneered, but I had to have them think about the last time they saw one and they all came out to say it must have been years. It's crazy because monarchs used to be everywhere in the summer. Live in semi-rural area where you would imagine wildlife thrives. Planted about 50 square feet of pollinator-friendly stuff, and nothing. I've seen bees of any variety maybe a dozen times or so, much less butterflies or any other insect. Hell, even the mosquitoes seem to be on vacation. Does not bode well for any of us. I took a road trip of about 4 hours not long ago and I never had to stop to clean my windshield there and back. If you were alive even in the 90s you'd know how insane that is. I almost suspect 60 is modest and I'd be curious to know specifically about the flying bug population and how much has been lost. We are seeing losses in bird populations as well that I believe this is playing a much underlooked factor into. There are a lot of other reasons like climate change and habitat fragmentation loss. But if many birds are missing their primary source of food it will undoubtedly have an effect. Some of my most vivid memories of summertime as a kid were the vast amounts of dragonflies zooming around, taking frequent breaks to sit on my knee or on my friend's shoulders. It would be odd to go out and not see a dragonfly. Now, I feel lucky to spot at least one dragonfly every few days. I remember when you pretty much had to clean your windshield on road trips every time you stopped for gas. Even in 2009 when I was driving to and from college you'd pick up bugs. These days it's pretty much nothing. I don't remember picking up much of anything driving 800 miles last summer. Except for mosquitoes. There are still too many of them and you should do everything you can to eradicate them. Drain their bonds, release genetically modified versions of them, or collect them by the thousands to make hamburgers out of them. Do whatever you can to end mosquitoes. If you count the millions of mosquitoes that we have killed of to control dengue and malaria you get a pretty hefty number. Then we have pesticides for industrial farming, and pest control in cities, and a long etc. of thing that we do to reduce the number of insects. We're able to watch and understand why other species are disappearing our fault, but we keep going anyway. That's how I know the near future will only get worse. We're only 200 years into what we can do.
The future has no idea what hell we're going to leave behind. I feel like this post was made by learning this joke that was posted 21 hours ago. And yet there are thousands of gallons of General Kill All for sale cheap at every store with a garden department in my city. I can hardly stand the smell of it just walking by, but it's omnipresent. Is there any pushback? Is there anything anyone can do? Haven't some countries banned neonics? Any positive results there? The fact that neonics haven't been globally banned already like CFCs is proof that corporations are already malevolent AI. They use us all as their collective computer and physical UI. All I have to say is flying ants. Used to see these fuckers everywhere growing up in the 90s. During the summer they'd be crawling on the ground, flying in droves. I vividly remember them being all over the tea scene 1 in 10 years. Guy came to my house selling bug spray. Pointed to the beetles on the steps and l the would be in the soffit, and the spider web in the doorway and said it can get rid of all those in that pitch works on everyone else in the neighborhood. Judging from my car windshield after a road trip compared to the car windshield after a road trip when I was a kid, and the seemingly complete lack of fireflies at night these days it seems more like 80. And that makes me sad. Republicans could I wouldn't consider the possible side effects even if I could think more than two links in the chain of logic ahead. Next let's upholster beaches because sand gets everywhere, the baby turtles can suck it. Insects are dying off. Oceans are dying. It is almost as if the earth is dying. It's not just climate change. It is the uncontrolled growth of the human population and our constant destruction of the natural world.